Facebook has been toying with artificial intelligence in its chatting features, but its robots may have gotten out of hand. That, that case you mentioned where, where Google built this AlphaGo uh, robot. The possibility of conscious machines is a topic that has captured the imagination of scientists, philosophers, and science fiction enthusiasts alike. It raises profound questions about the nature of consciousness, the limits of artificial intelligence, and the potential for machines to exhibit self-awareness and subjective experience. As technology advances and AI continues to evolve, the quest to create conscious machines remains a subject of fascination and debate. In this exploration, we delve into the intriguing question, are conscious machines possible? We will examine the theories, challenges, and ethical considerations surrounding this concept, shedding light on a frontier where science and philosophy converge. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. The birth of AI and machine learning. John McCarthy, an American researcher, sought funding from the Rockefeller Foundation to establish a summer school at Dartmouth. To secure this funding, he needed to propose a name for the endeavor, and he chose the term artificial intelligence, a name that would become enduring. McCarthy was involved in a branch of artificial intelligence known as symbolic AAI. Symbolic AI attempts to replicate the kind of reasoning we engage in when making decisions, where we weigh various factors and arguments internally. When we approach artificial intelligence, the goal is to create a machine capable of tasks requiring human-like intelligence, such as translating from French to English. Symbolic AI suggests that the way to achieve this is by acquiring expert knowledge from humans who excel at such tasks and coding this knowledge into computer-readable sentences. The belief is that if you provide the machine with the right knowledge, it will perform the task proficiently. Symbolic AI posits that human intelligence is fundamentally a knowledge-based problem. However, an alternative perspective exists, advocating a departure from instructing the machine through knowledge transfer. Instead, it proposes showing the machine what is desired and enabling it to learn independently. In the case of French to English translation, this means presenting the machine with numerous input-output examples without explicitly detailing the translation process. This approach is known as machine learning, which focuses on the machine's ability to learn from data. The underlying techniques, often referred to as neural networks, were initially conceptualized by researchers McCulloch and Pitts in the 1940s. The AI winter progress in the field of artificial intelligence faced significant hurdles during the 1960s and early 1970s. Consequently, a backlash against AI emerged in the mid-1970s, which became known as the AI winter. The challenge was that achieving success with neural networks required copious amounts of data. And furthermore, these processes demanded substantial computational resources. To effectively harness neural networks, a significant amount of computing power was necessary. This area has witnessed remarkable advancements in the past 15 years, serving as the catalyst for the present conversation and the heightened significance of AI as a field today. The next era of intelligence. AGI contemporary AI predominantly revolves around the pursuit of training AI systems to excel in extremely specific and narrow tasks. While these AI systems may outperform humans in their designated tasks, they remain incapable of performing a wide range of activities. For instance, a human can drive a car, step out and engage in a game of football, prepare a meal and crack a joke a diverse array of capabilities. In contrast, a driverless car, despite its proficiency in driving, is limited to this solitary specialized function. The overarching aspiration in AI, often referred to as Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, represents the grand vision. AGI envisions machines equipped with intellectual capabilities equivalent to those of humans. However, there exists an intriguing facet to this puzzle that deserves consideration. The Hollywood dream of AI, consciousness. AI is not an endeavor to generate life. 
This is not its underlying purpose. However, it undeniably carries an aura of resemblance to this notion. If we were to ever realize the ultimate AI vision, often referred to as the Hollywood dream of AI as depicted in movies, we would be conceiving machines that might, to some extent, possess consciousness akin to humans. Consequently, this dream shares similarities with the age-old desire to create life, a concept deeply rooted in human history. This ancient yearning dates back to the Greeks, who wove myths about blacksmiths capable of crafting living creatures from metal. Similarly, medieval Prague had tales of the golem, a creature formed from clay and brought to life, an embodiment of the age-old aspiration to bring life into existence from nothingness. This notion is both captivating and historically enduring, and contemporary technology offers the potential to transform it into reality. Why do humans have big brains? A scholar at the University of Oxford, an evolutionary psychologist by the name of Robin Dunbar, found himself captivated by a fundamental question. What is the reason behind the sizable human brain? This inquiry naturally emerges when contemplating the evolution of human intellect, Dunbar put forward a compelling hypothesis, suggesting that our enlarged brains directly stem from our inherently social nature. He posited that our cognitive capacity has expanded to allow us to adeptly manage a multitude of social relationships, encompassing the intricate intricacies of deciphering one person's thoughts about another and the interplay between these cognitions. What makes this concept particularly intriguing is its emphasis on the idea that human intelligence fundamentally embodies social intelligence. Creating Conscious Machines During the 1950s, when John McCarthy and his contemporaries were pioneering AI, their primary objective was to demonstrate that machines could learn and solve problems. It is only in more recent times that AI has started to focus on social aspects. Consider the scenario where two AI systems interact with each other. The challenge then becomes how to equip them with social skills such as cooperation, teamwork, coordination, and negotiation. The ultimate goal is to achieve conscious machines, and one step toward that goal involves developing machines that can empathize with others, although it's important to note that we have yet to take that step. Human beings, despite their incredible complexity, are fundamentally composed of interacting atoms. There is no inherent magic in this composition, and therefore there is no logical reason to assume that conscious machines are impossible. However, acknowledging their logical possibility is distinct from knowing how to actually create them. At present, we lack a comprehensive understanding of human consciousness, which remains one of the profound mysteries in science. How do the intricate connections between a vast numbers of neurons create consciousness, self-awareness, and the human experience? The road ahead is expected to be slow and challenging given the formidable complexity of the task at hand. Yet the intriguing aspect of computing in general is that its limits are not dictated by physical materials like concrete or steel, but rather by the boundaries of human imagination.